Let's look at the Gaussian error linear unit GELU. Here on the left hand side we have the input values x, which start at minus 10, go all the way up to 10. And uh, let's imagine that these are the input values for our um, neuron A, which is using the Gaussian error linear unit as the activation function which calculates the values as shown up here in the green box. The calculated values are shown here on the right hand side where we have the column A. And on the rightmost side we see a plot. The blue line are the values that go from minus 10 to 10 calculated using the GELU activation function. And the magenta dots are the points that are shown here on the left hand side. So the way the difference here as compared to the EELU and uh, the exponential linear unit and the scaled exponential linear unit is that the negative values are closer, much closer to zero as compared to the EELU and the SELU values that we used to get. Uh, with the exception that very close to zero, the values are uh, slightly more negative, but then they approach zero as the um, magnitude of negative values continues to increase. Let's now look at the implementation in TensorFlow, like how we can use it. Here is the link for that particular application, like the activation functions in the docs. We import the libraries, NumPy, TensorFlow and Matplotlib. And then uh, for creating a plot with the GELU activation function, here's what we are going to do. Uh, we, uh, so this is Gaussian error linear unit and X is going to be equal to TF dot, tf dot lin space um, that goes from minus 10 to plus 10 and we have 100 values then y let's call this uh, let's use y as it is with tf dot keras dot activations dot g e l u and that takes in the input value x and then we print then we can plot the value so we say plt dot plot x comma y we have plt dot grid and then we have plt dot show that we can use plt dot show that we can use to see the actual plot and this is a nice curve that we see now why don't we overlay or before we do that uh, let's uh, label this let's label this as GELU okay. now we could try overlaying the plot with the E the exponential linear units and the scaled exponential linear units but before that uh, what we want to also do is let's try calculating these values based on the functions that are given so the first function is this one if approximate is set to false then this is the way uh, the values are calculated and for this uh, all we need to do is change this so we'll say tf dot math dot tanh then this is going to be we tf dot math dot square and for pi i'm going to use the num np dot pi and then this is going to be to the power of three so now what we can do is again copy this and i uh, we can plot the y1 values and here we'll say approximate is equal to this is going to be the one when the values are false and uh, we can also look at the legend so we can say plt dot legend and we should see the values uh, right here so it's a exact overlay of the blue over the blue line now the next uh, way we could calculate this is when the approximate is set to true if that is the case then this is the relation that is used so why don't we put that here and we are going to calculate the error function so math dot error and then tf dot math dot square root of two 
right there and we can plot the values again the same way as we did before using y2 values this time and here we are saying that this is the case when we set the approximate is equal to true and in this case um uh, there is an error so let's figure out what the error is we have uh what the error is value for t in okay so uh 0 0.5 into x 1 plus tf dot math dot erf then we have let's change this to 2.0 and we have a nice plot which is exact overlay of all of these three now if we want to look at just a, kind of shift them a little bit to see the difference we can try and do that let's uh, see if we add a couple of values and shift them we see that these are the exact three are exact same shapes uh, that we know of for the glu g-e-l-u now is the time to overlay the plots that we have looked in the previous uh, previous videos which is the first one is the elu so let's get the values for that tf dot keras dot activations dot elu and that's that and then we have the s e l u that is going to be tf dot keras dot activations dot s e l u that takes this value and i'm going to copy and paste this two times so that we can use these values of y for the plots overlay plot and this is uh, we need to relabel this as elu and this needs to be relabeled as s elu and again when we plot this we should see that difference so here what we have is the elu function as you can see this red line it's uh, below the glu because the values are much farther from zero uh, where, whereas the scaled elu the values are even farther than the other values so that's kind of the visual difference between uh, these three activation functions i hope you enjoyed this video in the following video we we'll look at yet another activation function until then please like share and subscribe thank you